many electric vans on the fully charged show. And we probably should, because at the end of the day, the electrification of cargo vehicles is just as important as the electrification of passenger vehicles. Maybe more so, as we all rely more and more on online shopping. I alone have 17 Amazon parcels arriving today. Don't even remember what any of them are, just ordered them to feel something. Electric vans are very important, but we don't often cover them because they do just tend to be, well, a bit boring. But fear not. I found one that isn't. Like Fully Charged? Then you'll love our fun-packed Everything Electric Expos around the world. Next up, we're in London and Harrogate. Remember, energy and transport professionals go free on the first day. This is the new Morris JE electric cargo van. Yes, Morris Morris, the iconic British brand who, back in the mid 20th century, just after we finished giving Jerry a bloody good hiding, produced the Miner the first British car ever to sell over a million units. They're back, thanks to a small team of engineers working out of a rather charming shipping container office in Worcestershire. And what we have here is a modern reimagining of the iconic Morris JE cargo van of the 1950s, or the big little van, as it was fondly known, due to its TARDIS-like ability to provide huge amounts of cargo space, despite its dinky footprint. Lovely looking thing, isn't it? But don't be fooled into thinking that this is some style over substance, form over function frippery. Oh no, because underneath this retro bodywork is some seriously advanced engineering that uses some seriously fancy materials. It makes a lot of the other electric vans on sale today look a bit, well, old fashioned. So, John, new Morris JE van. The design speaks for itself, but tell me what makes this more than just a pretty face. So, like you say, Jack, it is a pretty face, but underneath it we have an aluminium chassis. We have recycled carbon fibre body as well. Uh, and we get a fantastic payload from that. We get a thousand kilogram payload, which is much more than the competitors as well. And it, it also has a good cargo volume as well. So, not just a pretty face, fabulous range, fabulous load, fabulous volume. And the big little van is what the original was known yeah. as, and this retains those properties of actually getting a huge amount of space out of a not very big footprint, right? Yes, yes indeed. It, it, it's quite high, uh, it's got a great rear volume. Uh, we had people talking, there's like the post office who love that idea because they can use uh, in their yards, they can get uh, more vans in, in the same space as well. So lots of advantages of that. Uh, and with the payload, you need less vans actually to take take your luggage around, to take your deliveries around. Okay, so tell me what else we need to know about the hardware of this vehicle in terms of batteries and motors. What can we expect in terms of those? Okay, so at the moment, we're just going with front wheel drive. So single motor, uh, we're going for three battery sizes, 40, 60 and 80 kilowatt hours. Uh, the top one giving us 250 mile range as well. Uh, we're going for current technology, nothing super new technology we want this to be reliable practical and look good so out on the road in the morris je and when i say road i do mean the private grounds of the ragley hall estate who very kindly lent us their gaff as a filming location for the day thank you to them I ought to clarify that this pink van is a very early prototype and not yet road legal. The blue one is just a design concept. It's literally just a beautiful body plonked on top of someone else's EV hardware. Neither are worth reviewing in detail because it would be ridiculous to assess the handling, suspension, steering, noise. All of those things are very much a work in progress. The other thing I will comment on that I hope they keep is this strip of carbon fiber exposed across the dash because i love the fact that it's retro 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 leather 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 exposed carbon fiber because it reminds you of the fact that underneath all the retro charm there is some serious engineering and some seriously high-end materials carbon fiber monocoque recycled carbon fiber monocoque it's basically a mclaren for flip's sake but the point I really want to make in this video is that this is not just a pretty face. It is genuinely astonishingly practical as a van. And I think the best way to slam that point home is with some numbers and with some comparison. 
So let's compare it to the VW ID Buzz Cargo, because that's another electric van that sort of aspires to be a bit designy and interesting, right? So here are some tasty numbers. VW ID Buzz Cargo space. Uh, what's the word for that? Maximum volume. 3.9 cubic meters. Not bad. It is also 20 centimeters longer than the Morris van. This, 6.5, 6.5 cubic meters. And that's impressive, but not as impressive as this. Weight, an ID Buzz weighs give or take 2.3 tons. It's heavy, electric cars are heavy, we know this. The Morris JE, 1.5. It barely weighs more than a Fiat 500 electric, which is bonkers. And what's the point of that, you may ask? Why is it useful that it's so light? Well, for one, as we know, light electric cars can make do with less battery because they can go further on less. The entry level version of this will only have a 40 kilowatt hour pack, which is pretty small, but they reckon it will easily do 150 miles. Whereas an ID Buzz Cargo, there'd be no point fitting it with a 40 kilowatt hour pack because it would have four miles of range. But when it comes to vans specifically, the other advantage of less weight is you can get more weight in the back. So ID Buzz Cargo, maximum load, 600 kilos. Morris JE, a ton. Oh, and by the way, they're starting with the cargo van, but they're already eyeing up a minibus and a pickup. Surely there's a camper on the horizon too. Please, please. Can we just pause for a moment to acknowledge how pretty these things are? Doing a reimagining of a classic vehicle is easy to get wrong. I've seen it go horribly wrong. And these aren't inspired by, these are absolutely modern interpretations of that lovely classic Morris JE van. And they've just nailed it. I think it's a gorgeous, object and what a lovely thing to have your company name slapped along the side of by the way the original morris van pioneered that idea because it was such a beautiful little object morris whenever they sold one to a company said to them hey chuck your name down the side of it it's a billboard on wheels that's something we kind of take for granted these days but it originated with the morris je is this the cheapest electric van on the market absolutely not but much like that little Citroen 2CV van we filmed last year, it is marketing on wheels. If you own a boutique, trendy, artisanal coffee shop, what a wonderful object to have attached to your brand, both in terms of design and sustainability. Okay, Good. so the million dollar question, John, when, what stage is the development process at and when can we expect to see these on the road? Okay, so by the end of this year, we will have our, our uh, production facility lined up. I think we showed you some sneak plans earlier, Jack, as well. Uh, we know where we're going to go. We know where it's going to be made. Uh, we've got lots of expressions of interest. They'll be turned into deposits in the near future as well. So going back to those customers and thank you all out there who've been expressed interest uh, to take a first deposit as well. Uh, and then that'll take us into early 2025 when we'll make deliveries. It, it, it's got to be, as a British brand, it's got to be made in Britain. And we're sourcing all the parts we possibly can in Britain as well. Superb. And just a moment for the sustainability, because it may be very pink, but this van is also very green. The Morris JE is designed to be almost 100% recyclable, while much of it is made from already recycled materials like the carbon fibre monocoque. The UK-based factory, once it's built, will run entirely on clean energy and rely on UK-based suppliers as much as possible to minimise shipping pollution. There's also the fact that the van's lightness means it needs less battery material than its rivals. You could even argue, and Morris does, that its generous cargo space is a sustainability feature. After all, if you can fit more into each van, a company might be able to make do with less vans. That means less vans need building. Less vans on the road, less traffic. Nice. So, the Morris JE. What a delightful contraption. A reminder that practical and functional doesn't have to be boring, and that vans don't have to be boring. And let's remember, the electrification 
of cargo vehicles is way behind where it needs to be. In the UK, the number of sub 2.5 tonne cargo vans on the road, which is the category this fits into, has increased by 59% since 2020. Yet to date, the number of vans in the UK on the road that are electric is 2%. We need more electric vans on the road. And to do that, we need to make people want to buy electric vans. And to do that, we need to make really good, really cool electric vans. And this is a pretty good start. So there we go, the Morris JE. Cannot wait to drive a more advanced version of this when the time comes. But until then, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have been, thanks for watching.